Hello there and good day my YouTube family and friends out there. Just want to tune in with you, my family. Just want to tune in with you, my well wishers, to say this is your girl Jackie from Jackie's Faith Journey. Just wanted to give you an idea of what my day was like on my worship day. Praise God. Here we go. It's always juicy and always nice to come before the camera to tell you of what my day have been like. And as always, I just keep my mind steadfast on the Lord. You see, we have to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Yes, he says in his words, he was beaten for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of his peace is upon him. And by stripes, I, I, Jacqueline, is healed. And I'm declaring those words because he never promised that the road would not get, it would not be easy. And the hills will not be hard to climb. He never offered a victory without fighting. But he says help will always come in time. He says just remember when you're standing in your valley of decisions and the adversary says give in just hold on hold on he will show up and he will take me through the fire again i just know that god is for me and if he is for me who can be against me I just love it when I find new strength in him. I just love it when I find my faith being lifted up higher than it was. I just love it when I call upon his name that I have a blessed assurance that he is there for me always. He promised never to leave me never to leave me alone my fans i don't know how much of you are saved or how much of you know the lord for yourself but he has done so much for me that's why i can talk like i do he has healed my own child from asthma attacks she has never had another one I think she was eight or nine years old has never had another one since i prayed over my own child dwindling away in front of my own eyes i was a young convert at the time i prayed over her after going numerous attacks of asthma and i was living in brooklyn at the time I have to visit Kings County every time I leave church on a Sunday, mostly. I have to take this child to sit down on a bench to get the, um, the um, injection pushed up in her arm, you know, timely. And then this very day when I look at her, she was lying there helpless. I see right in here going in like a hole because she's trying to breathe and i turned my face towards heaven 
I close them and I said in the name of Jesus. Because I my all my hope was gone. I felt like I was helpless and I said, in the name of Jesus, Satan, take your hands off my child right now. Look, like I'm speaking it to you right now. I watch my child transition in front of my very eyes. In less than five minutes, the child that didn't want to eat anything lying there and all I can do was have pity on her was transformed. You know, a child is my child. My daughter, she was bubbly. And I saw her get up after I prayed over her. Of course, she was frightened because I was acting like a real mad black woman. I was crazy. I went my shirk. And when I stormed my house and I walked through my house up and down the floors and I said, my daughter got up. I heard, I said, mommy, said, yes, I won't call her name. She said, I'm hungry. You know how that felt to a mother that watch her child like she's going to pass away from her. That life, there's no more life left in her. Well, that is a testimony I can give you. And it's for real. She is past 30, 35. And I can tell you that with two children later and married, she is doing just fine because of the word I declared over her. And just moving along, your girl is still awaiting the doctor to start whatever treatments they are going to give. As soon as I start them or whatever, I'll let you know my process. But I just ask that you continue to send your encouraging words. Because when you think that you don't need someone, that's a lie. We are never able to stand on our own without good people sending wonderful beautiful words to you it helps to build up your spirit build up your emotions um it helps to make you know that you are loved and look even people that's hateful can turn their ways to love in or can share a good word because in somewhere inside of them there is a spot that I can't touch you can't touch but God can so there's something good in the worst of us so I'm asking you to kindly continue to watch a girl go through, walk through this uh, episode. Because I know that it's going to change. I know that I'm going to get a good report. I'm going to get good results. I know that I'm not giving up. I know that I, as long as I have King Jesus, he says, well, that song says again, um, it is all right, all right, it is all right, all right, as long as I have the Lord beside me, it is all right. As long as I have his hands to hold, as long as he's watching over my soul, as long as, as I'm under his control, it is all right. I know it's all right. The devil is not ever going to stop trying after your family, after your friends, 
is not ever going to stop trying. Because when he sees that he doesn't have you in a stronghold, he gets mad. He gets angry. And that's when he heightens the fire on you. But it can only be allowed if God says it. If, God's, if God gave him uh, the, uh, the okay to touch you. And let me tell you. He wants us to prove him that he's Lord. And he wants us to prove our faith in him it can do it can move mountains yes God I'm standing here only because he made a way he made a way yes out of no way I can truly tell you that I love on you today I wish for you all the best and hope that my words of encouragement will touch even one person. I pray that today will be the best day and the blessed day in your life. Remember, like, share, and subscribe to my channel as always you do. And only what we do for Christ will last. See you next time. Bye-bye.